Greetings and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Neverwinter Nights. Right, so now that we have saved for the Ilkgard, it's time to go meet the Ulfgard tribe face to face. I'm sure they were willing, are willing to talk, even have to slaughter half of them to get in. Hello. Please help us. You've got to take our caravan. Where are you've got now? We heard the war cries and were able to run off before they found us. We had to leave our wagons behind and they looted our goods. We need someone to help us repair our caravan. Oh no! The youth got a back! Run for your life! And then don't run at them. Again, archers are not archery. It was so strong. Eh? What? Let's try that for a while. See if he is better at staying alive in a ranged position. Uh, that will mean I don't get his uh, his sneak attacks. But he's useless at those anyway because he's always in front, soaking up damage. Here. All right, let's go find that uh, farmstead that the gnome told us to go to. Lightning bullets. No. This is a destroyed homestead. Archers! <laughs> that actually have a bow in their hand. Oh. So they can arch. Ice bullets. I think he's only able to do sneak attacks with his bow if he's particularly close. Which doesn't make for a very uh, easy use of that ability. Yeah, I have a potion. Anything I can do to stop from having to rest. Alright, let's go see if there's anything alive in the destroyed homestead. Just a dog. Yeah, the homestead journal. Blood stains, cov uh, stains the cover and many of the pages of this diary. Most of the entries are written in a firm, bold hand and describe the day-to-day -day activities of the settler family as they worked the fields and tilled the land. The final entry is written in finer script. You've got fell upon us as we were working in the fields. There was no warning, and we can find no reason for the sudden attack. Father stumbled when an arrow took him in the leg. But while the savages hacked away at his fallen form, 
Mother and I escaped to the homestead in part doors. There is no escape for us now. The barbarians have the home surrounded. The soldiers at Fort Ilkar are too far away to arrive in time to save us, and I fear our neighbors are already dead. I can only pray that when the savages break through the door, our deaths will be merciful and quick. It looks like they killed you in their sleep. But you know, there's actually beds in here for a change. And enough beds, apparently, for an entire family. Alright, tome of robes. Not that I'm gonna build a robe, but it's nice to have. for him. Though nice of him to break open the door for us. Right, where are you? Ooh. Shiny. Ah, Good business to you. I hope my husband returns soon. Ackle handled all the business of the family. But I don't know anything about running a farm. This is terrible. I have a note here from your husband. A note from Ackle? May I see it? Hmm. This looks like his signature. Alright. And here's a list of buyers for, all, for our crops. I can't thank you enough for delivering this note. It says here Ackle promised you a reward. How does 300 gold pieces sound? Well, thank you, that'll be fine. Take the gold with my thanks. You've earned it. Without this note, I wouldn't have had a clue where to begin unloading these turnips. We would have been ruined. Ruined, I tell you. Well, as long as I'm here, let's go check the door. Upstairs. See if there's anything here. After all, I need to find ways to cover the cost of my henchman revival service. Although admittedly that suit of armor probably will pay for it. Did I check this barrel? Nope. Alright, so now that I've slaughtered most of the Uthgard tribe, I think they're willing to talk now. Mostly because I do have the... Uh, Oh, no, no, no. Not quite ready to talk yet. Just need to pound some more sense into them. Well, at least these are mostly old warriors, but again, the archers are not archery. Tommy certainly isn't dying quite as much during this encounter, but it would be very nice if he could still do his sneak attacks, which is usually why you have a rogue in your party anyway. Oh well, let's just keep on looting. Hmm, me? Just checking sure making sure these people are alive and well. They're dead, you say? Well, gotta be sure. I might have something uh left to do. Like give me gold. 
And I'm stuck. Alright, come on. Get out of there. What the heck? I mean, I know loot is supposed to be a little bit randomized, but, uh... Really? Alright, well, I'm not gonna say no to a katana plus two, but... Damn, that was random. Never rolled so high on on, on a treasure roll. Greetings. You come bearing an Ufgard token of peace. You wish to negotiate with the people of the Elk. I wish to speak with you, your chieftain, Zokan Thunderer. You have come under the banner of peace, and you look like a noble and trustworthy man. Go speak with Zokan. His rooms are in the center of the keep. You'll need to take the east corridor to get there. Well, thank you, good man. You are being a bit foolish by giving me all that information. I could have been lying. Being able to tell if someone is trustworthy is a really poor way to determine whether or not someone is actually trustworthy. No. Alright. Aye, oh, it's done! Ah, no can do. Okay, dokey. Aye, oh, it's done. Alright, gold pieces. Ow. Okay, dokey. Damn it! Okay, turkey. Ah, oh, it's done. Ooh, that looks neat. But again, a katana. That's such a weird weapon to find. Greetings. Alright, well, you're not gonna be too helpful. Let's have a look around. Well, these people are definitely sick and all that. They should really not keep corpses inside. Hmm. Spare a coin, friend? Yeah, this is definitely the part of the game that's a little bit less polished. Almost like they were thinking, oh crap, we need a third chapter. Quick, put something in there. Anything will do. Because Blake Stricker mm, Warrior is definitely not a typo you really should have in your game. I mean, how does that even... I mean, I, I guess there's a, a character limit, but still. Make it three lines. Alright, so we can't yet do much here, but I'll uh, have a look at the corpses. Alright, moving along. Just taking what I'm due. Just a henchman tax. Right. Isel Ice Goods Complete History of Seafaring. That's one of the three books I need to get into that treasure room area. Not sure why there is such a, an elaborate means of protecting treasure like that, but hey. The Ashes of Running Wolf. This bronze urn is filled with ashes, obviously human remains, 
and decorated with Uthgard runes that marked the deceased as a legendary warrior of his tribe. The urn itself is crudely made and has been little intrinsic value. Yoink! Hours now. All hours. Elk tribe shaman. Yes, what? The children born of the elk weep with sorrow. The plague ravages our people. Please, if you have not done so, I beg you to parley with Zokan Thunder, chieftain of our tribe. Where will I find Zokan? You find Zokan at the center of the school? Please go to him. Hey. Oh. Little Good's complete history of flight. Mm. Corpse. Our shield. Okay, okay. There's definitely no joy in this oh, place. It's done. Ooh, a prisoner. Huh? Thank you for freeing me. I was afraid Zokan would never let me out of that cage. Who are you? My name is Arden. I'm a soldier with the Lord's Alliance. At least I was until Zokan's people captured me. How did you get captured? I was on a scouting mission when I stumbled up upon to a group of elk warriors. I was numbered four to one. Luckily for me, they decided to show mercy and took me prisoner instead of simply killing me. Well, oh. can you tell me anything about Zokan and the Uthgard elk tribe? They treated me okay, though I was a bit, little bit worried about catching the plague. Seems the whole tribe is infected. The chief Zokan came and spoke to me a bit. I expected some kind of violent savage, but he seemed like a reasonable man. Zokan asked if I knew of the commander Damas of from Fort Ilkart. I don't, but it was obvious Zokan hates him. He blames Damas for the plague that's killing all the Uthgard. Why does he blame Damas for the plague? I don't know why Zokan hates Damas so much. You'd have to ask Uthgard chief, I guess. Like that would happen. Can you get away from here safely on your own? Most of you have got too sick with the plague to even try and stop me. I got out of here okay. I wish I had a reward for you, but all I can do is thank you again for a game. So thanks. Yay! Extra experience points. Come on, let's get okay, some okay. free. They're not gonna stop me. Ah, uh, it's done! Welcome to you. Who are you? Oh yes, let's waste time with introductions. Don't worry about getting me safely away from here. That would be too much to ask, wouldn't it? My name is Beline, if you must know. Dad left me a nice inheritance, so I thought I'd buy a little farm in the countryside, and then those damn savages came and ruined everything. Did they hurt you? So far, all they've done is throw me in this cage, probably saving me for some pagan ritual they hope will cure them of this plague that's infected their whole tribe. Anything else you can tell me? What else do I need? Do you expect me to tell you? They captured me. The fact they haven't killed me yet, or worse, probably just means that they're planning some horrible, unimaginable f torture. Filthy savages. How did the Ulfgard capture you? Are you saying this is my fault? It wasn't. I was just working my, in my garden, on, out on the farm, when those barbarians attacked. They destroyed my home and dragged me kicking and screaming to this prison. Can you find your way safely out of here, madame? I suppose I can find my own way out. These savages are also sick with the plague. Some rescue district are to be. <laughs> Mother was right. It isn't safe living out on the farm. I'm heading straight for Neverwinter, and you can bet I won't be leaving the city any time soon again. Oh well, at least he gave me experience points, which is really more valuable to me at this point. Alright, nothing else to loot. So let's go talk 
with Zokan. Next time. Thank you for watching.